so here's where we're at. Anyway, so we got those wires goes into that wire loom, zip tied up there, goes out underneath there, goes in there. You guys saw all that, so we're good to go there. Got that bolted down. Um, so I put everything together, and I'm not getting spark. So, um, well, I'm probably just going to replace the points and condenser. Um, since I'm going to be out, I'm going to see if I can take this off. Um, I have been soaking those bolts. Let's see how well you can see that. Those are pretty crusty, and I am pretty worried. Um, but what I had been doing was spray it down with WD-40. Next day I come out, I spray down with uh, some carburetor cleaner. Basically, it's a it's like a degreaser kind of thing. So I spray that down real good come back again WD-40 and I kept doing this back and forth um, and even on the same day even on the same day I'd spray the carb cleaner spray this on there spray carb cleaner and spray this back on there um, I did it several times so um, the other trick I'm going to show you guys is when it comes to taking these off see if you can tighten that nut just ever so slightly just enough to see if you can break any kind of bond that's in there before you try to um, loosen it I mean you can try to loosen it if that doesn't work then try to tighten it just a hair um, and if that works then great if that breaks free once you try to tighten it then just loosen it up and you'll go tighten loosen tighten loosen tighten loosen kind of one step forward two step back so Tighten just a little bit and you'll loosen it up quite a bit. Tighten it just a little bit. What that does, that just breaks down uh, any kind of junk that's inside there. And I'm also doing it on a breaker bar. So I feel like I can feel it a lot better. Yeah, see, yeah, broke, that broke loose. So cool. All right, so since I'm mostly worried about this one, Let's try this one first. I'll try to tighten it just a little bit. There it goes. Doesn't feel like it broke. Oh man, would you look at that? Wow. how crusty that is I mean the threads inside don't look too bad so good 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 so let's do the same thing with this one And again, those, those threads look pretty good. And then on this last one, we got to take the belt off. This belt that came with it is probably about an inch too short. Um, I couldn't get it put on there. so, And there is quite a bit of adjustment on here, so we're going to make sure that we get the, get the right belt. But I'll loosen this off. And then what we'll need to do is undo this, undo the throttle linkages, and then undo this one. And I haven't been as diligent on putting WD-40 and carb cleaner on this because worst case scenario, I can cut that bolt, cut that bolt, put a new bolt in versus a new stud into the, into the head. So... All right, I'll go ahead and get that taken care of and go to the store and hopefully I can get some parts at Tractor Supply or something. So I went ahead and took uh, this off. And those actually, the front one came off really easily. The back one, I didn't really need to do anything. It, it just basically fell off. Now, as you can see, this lip is kind of torn up. Um, there is kind of a remedy that you can do. Uh, which is where you put tinfoil like a big old layer of tinfoil 
I, that's what I'm gonna do because again I can't I can't put in money for another uh, or for an exhaust exhaust pipe so um, that'll do for now uh, the main thing is getting this fixed so it's not blowing uh, sparks back up that way uh, the other thing I did notice was this is really loose probably tighten that up and clean the inside of those well, clean the insides of those out so I did go ahead and disconnect the fuel line to the carburetor and went ahead and took off the bolts and we're about to take out uh, the carburetor Drop the other bolt on there, I'll find it later. But um, we'll probably, since we're this far, go ahead and take off the uh, carburetor float bowl and just see if we can, just see if we can clean out anything. There is a little bit of rust down in there. See that, but that looks like that's not good. Well, throw a new gasket on there and just let the other, the new owner, know that it'll it'll need a new head or a new header. Uh, I'm not replacing that. Since I do have it out, I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit of this. All right, so I'm not gonna put any kind of JB weld or anything like that. I'd feel like that's just trying to cover up. Um, just trying to cover up something and I'm not trying to do that. I'm also gonna use some anti seize So whenever, um, whenever the new owner gets ready to replace this, those bolts will come off easily anyways. Um, I hope you guys can understand why I'm not getting this all the way down to where it needs to be because like I said this is just a lost cause when I mean, you can see the gap on that so maybe if I put two gaskets on there or whatever um, maybe if I put the exhaust JB weld on there to build that up it might help but um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's it's cracked right here too. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and slap this on real quick and get this thing fired up. And again, I use my anti-seize. All right, I went ahead and took the screws out. Let's go ahead and see what's... Huh. Not too bad, really. Um, I did take off this and spray some carburetor cleaner down in there. So that's where all that came from. And sprayed carb cleaner 
and that hole that orifice came out that one and then that one down there so all three of those came out clear something else you want to do is listen to this float see if you hear anything inside of it if you hear anything inside then you want to go ahead and replace that otherwise your float will stick let's throw some I'm gonna throw some gas in here all right so I gotta say I was a little worried um, cleaned out the carburetor a bit um, wasn't getting any fuel flow and I put I don't know probably two gallons in there and I, it just takes a lot of fuel to get in so I got probably I don't know three or four gallons in for it to flow the fuel and then Exhaust leak is there. The issue we're having is whenever I push on the clutch, it won't let me put it into gear. All right, guys, so that is going to end it here. Needs a new exhaust intake and then the clutch. Um, again, I'll do some research and try to figure out what I can do. Maybe, maybe we just need to adjust the clutch some more. Uh, the three-point works. The PTO works. Um, as you can see, all up in here, all looks good. So, yeah, like I said, there's a, there might be some adjustment we can do on the clutch um, I'll, I'll check got the new belt on um, filled it back up with radiator fluid and like I said runs good alright guys got comment rate and we'll talk to you later see ya